Hey guys, this is another tutorial type thing from me. Um, basically, I've got this ESP01, which is the ESP8226 chip on it. It's a Wi Fi chip, Arduino based, and it's just showing how to turn one of these uh, UART type um, transducers, uh, transceivers into one that can program the chip. You can do it via Arduino if you've got just an Arduino by itself and a few wires and resistors. However this came with the kit and it simply sits in there but you can't uh, program at the moment. So this is what the outlay of the board is. You have your VCC at 3.3 volts here. You have your reset, the CHEN, so enable pin, uh, TX, so that's the uh, transmitter, RX receiver, GPIO, uh, zero, and GPI2. To program, I'll put this into programming mode. Uh, EN needs to be linked to 3.3 volts, so high. And GPIO uh, 0 needs to be linked to ground on boot, and then it can be released. So I'm going to just simply, I've got some wires here, um, two wires and a button, and yep, make this. Okay, so quite simply, we've done a simple button which links the uh, ground pin, so this pin, to the GPIO server, and a simple link between the enable pin and the VCC, so the power pin. Um, so all I've got to do is press that as I plug it in, uh, as I plug this in and it should just be and that's it and then it's in programming mode um, if you don't want it in programming mode just don't press the button as you plug it in and that's it should work cool okay so now we've wired it all up and we've got the simple button on the side we can upload this script uh, I'm doing a blink script which I've edited um, it's now just going to print uh, the line hello from ESP into the serial monitor. Currently it's not printing anything because we haven't uploaded a script. So to do this, all we've got to do is hold a button in when we plug it in for about one and a half seconds to two seconds. So. Up there. Now when we click upload, 
once it's finished compiling. There we go. Now it's uploading. This will do it as generally three lines of these dots. And once this is done, uh, we'll be seeing an output on the COM port or COM8. Okay, so now go on here. We can see this is printing hello from ESP every couple of seconds, which is perfect. So we know it works. Um, I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial and hopefully you guys can uh, make this quite cheaply with any leftover parts and yeah, have fun.